and welcome back to another video of Calc Nerd. As you can see, this is not my TI-83, it is the new TI-84 Plus CE. When I say new, it actually came out a while ago, but I just got one recently, and um, so I'm going to be showing you how to put games onto it. Um, so yeah, it's just like the normal graphing calculator, it has matrices, uh, it can graph obviously, uh, you just click the graph button. Um, and uh, one thing, it has like this bar across the top always, and it has a uh, battery level, which is kind of cool. Um, and there's lots of cool different games. Um, for example, today I'll be showing you chess. Um, so I'll be showing you how to put this on your calculator. Um, so I'm just going to do a new game real quick. And as you can see, it's just like normal chess. So I'm going to uh, play a game of chess real quick. I'm going to do a little time lapse. Um, I'm going to make it kind of short, so I'm going to try to lose kind of quick. So yeah, here we go. Okay, now I'm going to be showing you how you can put this game on your calculator. So, first off, you're going to go to calcplex.com. Um, there's lots of other sites, too. This is just where I found chess. Um, there's lots of cool games like Pac-Man, Flappy Bird, Geometry Dash. Lots of amazing things that you wouldn't think you could put on a calculator. I personally have this Tetris right here. Um, it's very fun. You can get it. Um, I recommend getting it. So you just click the download button right there. Um, Calcus app is another fun one. Same with Portal. Um, so we're just going to go down to chess right here. So all you have to do is click the download button. Um, another one that I just put on was um, right here, this snake one. Uh, that is also pretty fun. I recommend you get it. Um, it's just basically like the normal game of snake. It's just in color. Uh, and you can change the color of your snake. It's pretty cool, actually. So now I'm going to open up the TI Connect CE software, which I already have open. Um, so we're going to switch over to the Calculator Explorer tab, which is this second tab right here. So as you can see, not on the camera, but on what looks like a document. And um, it shows you everything that is on your calculator. So I already have chess on there, but I'm going to show you how you do it just so you're able to see so I just look up chess um, and it's going to show me today that I downloaded chess.8xg so I'm going to double click that and as you can see it's going to put everything on the screen right here so I'm just going to go to all connected calculators just so I can see the send button because the bar down here uh, kind of blocks it um, but you want to make sure you put everything in RAM. So you just click the little drop down arrow and click RAM. And you can do it to select calculators. So you just have your one calculator. And um, I'm actually going to do it and it's just going to replace the existing content. Just so you can see that I click send. It sends it and you can see what it's supposed to look like. So now it should have put it right on my calculator and now I'm able to play chess. I so hope yeah. If you enjoyed today's video and you were able to get chess on your calculator, um it's pretty cool. I honestly prefer uh actual chess and I'm okay at it. Um so yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video and uh have fun playing chess on your calculator. And uh if you really enjoyed it, I hope you do subscribe. And uh yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.